like I do shows, I've been doing shows around the country, around the world, really, I've been blessed. And, and I remember one day, I'm in, I'm in LA, and I'm doing a show, and we're sitting backstage, and this comedian comes in to the backstage area, and he's got a list of all the guys that are performing. And so he looks around, and he looks at the darkest guy in the corner, just the blackest guy he could find, and he goes, hey, yo, you the dude from Africa? <laughs> and the guy looks up and he's like, nah, man, I'm from Detroit. <laughs> he's like, all right, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, I, uh, yo, okay, Detroit, yeah, yeah, you, uh, comp oh, I, I, okay, cool, LA, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then he looks at me for a second, does a quick calculation, and he's like, uh, I, I, um, <laughs> yeah, um, and then he looks and he goes, yo, where you from, man? I said, I'm, I'm from South Africa. He's like, oh, 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 you the dude? <laughs> oh, damn, man, damn, I, yo, I, I didn't even know they got, yo, you the dude from Africa? <laughs> man, I didn't even know they got light-skinned niggas out there, man. <laughs> damn, I, yo, yo, that's the motherland, man. That's the, that's the motherland. And all of a sudden, he just started giving me this speech. He was like, man, you know, yo, man, that's, yo, man, that's where we gotta be, man, that's, you know. <laughs> That's the motherland out there, man. Yeah, I got to get out there, man. I got to, yo, I got to go home, man. <laughs> you heard, I got to go home. Man, you tell them, all right? You tell them. You tell them I'm coming home, all right? <laughs> and I was like, no, we're not waiting. Because I'm just, I'm fascinated. I think that's come, that whole identity has come from the term African-American. This is something that's fascinated me. You know, it's the very loose term, African-American. Because half of the time, you use it for people that aren't even African. You know, you just use it as long as you're black, they go, African-American. But it's a, it's a, what if people aren't from Africa and they're still African-American? You know, there's people from the Caribbean, from Haiti, from Jamaica. You know, they call it, yeah, yeah, African-American. Guy's like, no, man, I come from Jamaica. I know I'm from Africa. <laughs> I ain't never been there for a man. He's like, you want to stay? African-American man. <laughs> hey. the, prefix, the prefix to American has become as important as American itself. I thought it was just American, but it's not. No, 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 it's very important. You have the prefix. You know, you, you have African-American. African-American, you, you have others like Latin or, or Mexican-American. You have, uh, have uh, Asian-American. You have the most interesting for me was Indian American, which I learned about during Thanksgiving. Indian American. And then I was told I, I'm no longer allowed to say this. I said, uh, I, I now have to say Native American, <laughs> which is redundant, is it not? <laughs> because if somebody's a native of the land they're still in, should you not then just call them American? <laughs> How does that work? It was, it was the strangest conversation to have, sitting around carving the turkey and just going, you know, going, I don't, I don't understand. I can't say, I can't say Indian American. He's like, no, Trevor, you, you, yeah, you look, you don't want to say that. You want to say Native American. I, yeah, it's, it's a better term. I go, oh, well, well, who called them? Who called them Indian American? Well, well, we did. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. And then who, who changed it? Well, we did. <laughs> I see. And you guys feel better? Yeah, yeah, much better, much better. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> this is the craziest thing in the world, changing it, you know? The prefix. And I mean, I, I don't mean to offend anyone. As Americans, I hope you, you know, I see some guys looking at me like, okay, okay, move on, guy, move on. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the one thing, is because the one thing I noticed is white people in America, you never got the prefix. What happened there? Just, no? You just, guys, you guys got left out? Oh, that's horrible. And it's a first. There's nothing, you guys don't get a prefix, no? Sir, you don't, you don't want one? No, no? Just American? No? Euro, Euro-American? No? No? Although, I mean, to be honest, Europeans would be like, no, no, they are not from us, please. No, 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 no. No culture, no culture. They are not European. So then I get, I get Anglo, Anglo from the British. Anglo-American, is that more? No, no, you don't want Anglo. Um, I don't know, Anglo. Colonial American, is that? <laughs> Imperial American, Imperial. Death Star American. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'm still searching for the answer. My two favorites so far have been, uh, I, was in the, I was traveling in the South, and a gentleman shouted out, he said, you can call us Super American. <laughs> so, very well. Very, and, and my favorite was a man in Atlanta who looked at me and he said, 
why don't you call us honky American? <laughs> and I'd never heard of that term. I'd never heard of the word honky before. Cause, cause isn't honky the same thing you use for the, 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 like your car? That's like, you know, and the thing that, that clowns use, honk honk, that's, that's, that's honky. That's, that's the most hon honky American. That sounds like a, like a bad children's character for, for white imperialists, you know? It's like there's Barney, there's Ronald McDonald, and there's honky. This is like, you know? He's coming out singing to all the white kids, it's honky, it's honky. He's gonna teach you how to be white honky. It's honky. Remember kids, white is right. It's honky, it's honky. It's the craziest thing ever, honky. I, and I, I really don't, please don't, don't get offended. If, you, if you're American and you're offended, I, I really hope that I'm not offending you. Um, I, I mean this because I am scared of you. Um, <laughs> No, no, really, really. The world, you don't understand. The world is shit scared of America. Like, wh like America, because you guys, wh what, you've been fighting wars since World War II? You guys haven't stopped. Like America, no, it's true. America's just like the most badass. America's like that really buff guy on the beach, just like not messing around, just walking around. <laughs> just like, you do not mess with America. It's like, you know, if America catches you building a sand car, it's like, what are you doing? No, no, America, it's not what it looks like. It's like, ah! Ah! The only time people build sandcastles is when they're gonna attack. Stop that! Is that a bucket? No! <laughs> you know, America's like, yeah, America's that super, because you guys have the best army in the world, and you just, ah! America's that big guy that walks down the hallway, and the rest of the country just stand on the side. Just like, don't, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. And as America walks past, like, Purr! America's like, what was that? What was that? Iran! Did you fart? No, no, America, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, uh, yes, I fart, I fart just a little bit, I fart, I'm sorry, America. I ran, were you farting at me? No, no, America, no, I don't fart at you, I don't fart at you, I just fart just by myself, just fart, fart, fart on the back, not to the front, to the front, I say sorry, please, America. Iran, was that a nuclear fart? No, 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 not nuclear fart, just beans, lots of beans fart, beans. No nuclear America, please, please. I'm gonna come in there. No, no, don't come in America, please. Just fart, just fart, I'm sorry. Hey there, thanks for watching. Now, all I need you to do is click on that little circle on your screen. Yeah, yeah, that, that one, oh yeah, yeah, just like that. Hold on, hold on.